Hi all, welcome to another Dave Downey Fly Time video production where I'll be tying all my favourite flies and patterns to help you guys catch fish around the world. Obviously with what's happening in the world just now with this virus and stuff, we're all going to be kind of stuck indoors for an elongated period of time. God knows how long it's going to change, when it's going to change. Obviously the, the weather's better today for getting out to go fishing but we're all kind of stuck so we don't know when things are going to get back to normality so I'll keep doing videos for you guys getting them out there so today eh, I'm going to be tying a wee damsel it's a little straggle damsel you can tie it in international size you can do it with a wee bit a longer tail eh, I've used this one quite a lot eh, it's on a barbless hook just now but obviously we maybe use a, a 175 with a barb on it so that's a heavy weight champ again you know tend to use the same sort of hooks all the time, it's a good strong hook so we need that then we're going to need some uni thread fire orange again what we're going to use is some damsel oil of marabou right so I've got that for the tail we're using some olive straggle for the body and then we're going to use a nice dyed uh, olive hackle now you could use a hen hackle, you can use a cock hackle, these are uh, this is a keo cape uh, I've got a few of them in stock they're actually quite nice capes but I've got some mets hens as well that'll probably die up when I get a chance so we're just going to run the thread on right uh, the world has went crazy and hopefully it's going to level out quite soon because last year was a terrible year for me this year well I had to cancel my 50th birthday party because of this everything else which doesn't really matter with what's going on in the world but it just shows that we weren't really prepared for this so all we can do is stock up the fly boxes to get the marabou tie it in and hopefully keep you entertained Right, so we tie the marabou in. Now we don't need a river end for this. If I was going to hackle the fly right down, then I, I would put a ribbon, but I'm not going to. So, get a, a straggle. If you wanted a bit of UV, you could use frazzle instead. Just catch that in. So, it says we don't need touch and turns back up the body and we're just going to wind that on just like any other fritz I'm always going to pull it back because you'll end up trapping the fibres so just keep pulling it back and keep going now you can, sometimes I'll tie us with jungle cock as well but I'm not going to do it with jungle cock today we're just going to have it normal and pull the fibres back and catch it in and it is really really simple there's not really any flash or anything added to it it says you could tie it with frazzle if you want a bit of UV through the body and you can palmer the hackle really if you really want to but I tend not to bother so I'm looking for a half decent sized hackle and that's where we can use the bigger ones the more the hen hackles are actually better if you can if you want it a bit softer so I'm going to catch that in now I'll get a, two or three of these damsels out of this hackle probably two and all we're going to do turn the hackle back All right. just get it into position another turn All right. and it's kind of trapped there so I don't want that I want to make sure I'm getting all the hackle so two turns is enough because you don't want it too bushy it ends up it takes forever to sink and if you wanted you could add a wee bead 
do that as well. That's it really. That's all we're going to do is build up. We do want to build up the head a little bit on it. So we've got an or orange head. It'll work with yellow thread as well. So you could use UTC fluorescent chartreuse, which is a yellowy green. Right, so all we're doing I say we could we, we could put jungle cock on here if we wanted, but some customers like it with jungle cock, some don't. So this one's not getting tied with jungle cock. And I'm just going to do a bit finish. And I would fish this on a midge tip or a slow intermediate, just on a point. Unless I'm fishing a beaded fly, uh, then I would have it on the dropper. But that's it, there's nothing fancy. It's a pretty simple fly. We'll get a wee bit of varnish on the, the eye. Right. So you want a half decent sized head on it, because it, that kind of... Because it's an international one, we can't weight it. So... You know, it almost looks like the red bead, as if you had a bead on it. I'm just going to clean the eye out, if I can, if I can get the, the lead to go through. No, it's not wanting to. So we'll just grab another hook, and we'll clean it with the other hook. Alright, so... That's the eye cleaned. There you go. That's a straggle damsel. This is it is worth getting a decent grizzle cape dyed. I do have some in stock. Uh, I need to put them up on the website. I've not put them up. I tend not to put capes up because the it, a lot of the skins you're getting nowadays are really thin, and when you're dyeing them, they just fall apart. So I tend to just dye them for when people ask for them. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you'll follow me on my Facebook, David C Downey. Uh, you'll check out my website www.fly-fishingworld.com uh, and you can go and check out my my Instagram Dave Downey Fly Fishing. So stay safe, take care, and I hope these are all alright and you get to go out fishing at some point. So bye for now.